Hello there. Oh, you must be looking at the adorable new Christmas merch that came out for Internet Crush. Oh, you didn't hear about it? Well, let me tell you all about it. It's adorable. Um, it's only available till Christmas, so you have to get it while it is here. It is adorable, and it's so comfy and so cozy, and I think you will love it. You can get it for your friend who loves Internet Crush for Christmas, or you can get it for yourself. You know, treat yourself every now and then. Quickly, get it before Christmas! Hey, Izumi. Oh no, uh, we should walk home another way. Why? Hey, Izumi. You look beautiful, as usual. Uh, thanks? Wait, you look familiar. Oh my god! Hmm? Senshin Matsui! Little Zenny? Gosh, long time no see! <laughs> That's me. Nice to see you again, Hiroshi. Wait, you two know each other? Zenshin was a freshman when I was a senior at Aiko High. Crazy. Look how grown up you've gotten. I remember when you were just an awkward, nerdy kid. Yep, I was quite the loser. <laughs> Aw, oh, nonsense. You were the sweetest kid. Nothing wrong with being nerdy and quiet. Hold on, hold on. So you two were friends? Well, he was more of a mentor to me. I didn't realize you two knew each other. Wait, are you two siblings? Yep, Izzy's my little sister. What do you want, Senshin? Whoa, what's the problem? Senshin blackmailed me into going on a date with him and won't leave me alone. Is that true, Zenshin? I did, but I feel bad for doing it, and it won't happen again. It better not. It's not my fault she's always trying to play hard to get. Okay, <coughs> let me give you a little piece of advice. Women are constantly told what to do and what not to do in society. No woman wants to hear that showing disinterest and saying that you're creepy is them playing hard to get. This isn't kindergarten anymore. You can't pull a girl's pigtails and the teachers just say, it's because you like her. If you want her to like you, you need to be nice to her. And even then, you should never expect something from them in return. Got it? Uh, sorry, Izumi. I'll leave you alone. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Did I go too far? No. Thank you for that. I was starting to worry I was blowing things out of proportion. Izumi, always listen to how things make you feel, no matter the intent. How you feel is your truth. Thanks, Hiroshi. You're the best brother I could ask for. Sorry I can't be here more often. It's okay. You're at college. You have your own life there. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's keep heading home. Yeah, let's go. Can we stop by Denki's to say hi real quick? 
Of course. I let you define who I wanted to be. Who I wanted to be. And young, naive. Izumi, hey. Oh my god, Hiroshi! It's been forever! How's it going, Denki? Come on in, guys. I'm home and stepdad or I would on a date, so I'm home alone. Oh, it's been a while since I let you oh I've missed my basically little brother. Since my gross spurt, I'm not so little anymore. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's been what? Two years since you both have seen each other? Yep. I was 14 last time I saw Hiroshi. That's crazy! Nice to see you again, buddy. You too. But listen, before we start catching up, I need to ask you both something. What is it? What's up? Zenshin Matsui. I knew him as an awkward and quiet freshman during my senior year. For as long as you both have known him, has he always been so entitled? Yeah, he's been a spoiled brat and an F-boy as long as I've known him. But here's the thing. On our date, if you can even call it that, I saw a different side of him. It was quickly overwritten by the spoiled, entitled, misogynistic behavior, but... <laughs> but I could have sworn for a second. It was like I was talking to a different person. Maybe he's still in there. Little Zenny. Just hidden deep within. Yeah, maybe. It's probably his ass-out friends that changed him over the years. Do you know their names? Uh, you say Katsura and Takumi Nagasa? Why? What? There's no way! What is it? Those were his bullies freshman year! 